Hey student, we have heard the word health quite often around us. For instance, we have heard the word like healthy diet, healthy environment, healthy competition and of course healthy attitude. But what comes to our mind when we talk about health? So like if you see if somebody comes and asks you, uh, how are you? What do you say usually? We tend to say we are doing well. It means that everything in our life is going fine and health is a very important feature of it. Right? Similarly, uh, suppose if you have a disease or let's say if you have fever and if somebody comes and asks you, how are you doing? What are you going to reply? You will say, I am not doing fine. So you see that health is a very very important feature and we cannot do anything without it. But how can we define health? It has been described as a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. So when I say physical, it means that we don't have any disease or let's say any physical injury. So this is about the physical wellness. But now imagine if at midnight your neighbor starts to play very loud music and because of that you are unable to sleep. What if I then ask you, how are you? You cannot say you are doing well, right? Although you don't have any disease but still you are not healthy. You have some mental stress. So you see that your being healthy is so important and being healthy just does not mean being physically well or mentally well. It also involves you to be free from any social stress too. Now, for keeping a healthy life cycle, a person should have a balanced and varied diet. He or she should have proper exercises, a hygienic shelter and of course enough sleep as well. A proper hygiene or let's say a lot of cleanliness tends to reduce the chances of infection. But if we say that health is a state of being physical, mental and social wellness, then it is something that cannot be achieved individually. An organism's health depends a lot upon its surroundings or let's say the environment. For example, we see a lot of garbage around us. Now imagine what would happen if no agency is taking responsibility of collecting this garbage and disposing it off. Or let's say if you find a lot of water accumulated in your surroundings, what would happen then? Well, a lot of garbage in your surroundings or let's say on the street or a lot of water accumulated in your area where the mosquitoes can breed increases the pos possibility of infections. So, we can simply say that the community health or the clean environment it is very important for an individual's health. Next, as we know, food is required for being healthy. So this food, it can be earned by doing some work. Now opportunities of working or let's say jobs should be available to avail this food. So we can say that good economic conditions and jobs are needed for individual health. Now ultimately we can say that being happy is very very important for being healthy. Any kind of sadness or worry tends to make us unhealthy. So now you have understood what is being healthy and how we can keep ourselves healthy. Next let's see what is a disease. So the word disease in its name itself says a state of being uneasy or uncomfortable. But now if you relate the term disease free, 
with healthy they might not be same we can see this by taking a few examples for example let's talk about a sports person so for a sports person being healthy means to be able to stretch his or her body to run and play properly similarly if we notice a musician a musician to be healthy needs proper lung capacity right so this way you can notice that even if a person is in poor health he or she might not have any identifiable disease and this is why whenever we think about health we think about societies and communities because being healthy it is related to various other you know factors like societies communities along with the individual health but whenever we think about disease we think about an individual sufferer so this way being disease free and healthy are two different things so student in this lesson you have learned what is being healthy what is the significance of health and at the end you have also learned that what is the difference between being disease free and healthy